Welcome. Today's video is a warm up routine for your guitar practice. This is a low impact routine, so you won't see any uh, supersonic speeds, crazy stretches, or impossible picking patterns in this routine at least. Uh, I'll be playing every drill two times, but the idea for you at home is to keep each one on repeat for say 30 to 60 seconds uh, from a slow speed up to wherever you feel comfortable. All drills in this video are sourced from my new book called Guitar Practice Warm-Up Routines. The book contains 92 drills, 10 routines from basic to advanced, notation and tab with free audio and video of every example. Grab a copy at Amazon and give your practice the best start every day. Okay, let's begin with three drills that focus on the picking hand only. First drill uses two notes per string, alternate picking with some string skipping just to exaggerate the distance between strings. The next drill simulates the picking we'd use for three note per string scales, only without the scale. So you begin on a downstroke on the low E string, then an up on the A string, and you'll see it alternate from there. Let's conclude this first part of the routine with some three string sweeps on various string groups. Uh, remember to employ the rest stroke, so each time the pick leaves one string, it will land directly on the next. This is a great one for building your sweep picking without worrying about the coordination yet, and also in general just for warming up the picking hand. Let's change focus to the fretting hand with some chordal and linear warm ups. This one uses moving angular dyads using finger pairs one and two, two and three, three and four. Let's take a C major chord now and move inversions up and down the inside four strings. Rather than just holding down the shapes and strumming, I'll be squeezing and releasing each of the chord shapes you see to kind of get my pump on with the, um, the fretting hand as well. Check this out. Time for some single note stuff for the fretting hand. Uh, I'll be using a couple of angular drills across four string groups and all four fingers using hammer-ons only. That'll make sense when you see the, uh, the drills. To keep the strings quiet, uh, you can either wrap a cloth around, use a fret mute, or in my case, I'll actually just be reaching over the top and muting the strings with the picking hand. Using both hands at once, here's a chromatic displacement drill. Uh, instead of the usual one, two, three, four fingerings on each string, I'll be displacing the fourth finger to a higher or lower string each time.
next up, we're going to play a one octave major scale around the circle of fourths. So the key of C, F, B flat, E flat, etc. Uh, in each portion of the fretboard, I'm going to play a, uh, a one octave pattern that starts on the fifth string, then the fourth string, and then the third string. So take note of how the patterns change depending on the string group. Applying alternate picking to broken chords or arpeggios, I'm going to use a C major triad in three different shapes that produce the same notes. Most of this picking will be one note per string, so you'll see my pick going in and out of the strings on each pick stroke. Uh, when I'm done with those, I'll do the same thing with C minor. And finally, we're going to finish this low impact routine with a diagonal chromatic picking thing. Uh, it's very good for the picking hand, good for the fingers as well, without being too demanding or strenuous. So check this out. When you're ready for more demanding material, grab a copy of Guitar Practice Warm-Up Routines and then select material that's suited to your ability or what you are chasing in your technique goals. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you for another video very soon.